Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel, and we need to talk about something big that has just been released, just been added to the game code, and I want to do kind of an outlook and overview of how I think this is going to affect the market here in the next coming days, depending on when this SBC does go live. Now, you probably already know what I'm going to show you, but Team of the Week player pick packs, not a player pick, but a pack is coming and has been added to the code and usually when we see stuff added to the code it comes within the next 24 hours and you see here there are two different packs inside of this game code contains one team of the week player from all weeks with a minimum overall of 81 then this other one down here contains one team of the week player from all weeks with a minimum overall of 84. We have had these packs in the past, FIFA 18, FIFA 17. We had these packs, I do believe. I remember FIFA 18 for sure. They had these out during like foot birthday, the foot birthday promo, they had these packs out. But this is a very, very welcome sign to the market. And let me tell you why. If you go on to Footbin right now and look at some of the cheapest players by ratings that are in forms, it is outrageous how expensive some informs are right now. And even the high rated golds. I'm going to talk about that in a second as well. But look at some of these informs. People are paying 30k for an 80 rated inform. Absolutely disgraceful. 33k for 82s, 33k for 83s, 35k for 85s. It starts to get more normal as we come down here. But all of these informs are so inflated in price and so way way overpriced. That is disgraceful, and that's why this pack just makes sense right now for the game. Now, I also want to t uh, take a look at what came out uh, today in FIFA Ultimate Team, or yesterday, depending on when you're t uh, watching this video. We got the throwback UCL SBC, which uh, you just basically needs some gold players. You get some packs out of it. Cool, right? Um, we got this Morales SBC that was really random. It cost like 20 k If you're an MLS fan, sure, do it. We also got a foot swap deals player and the bail SBC. Now a ton of people are doing this bail SBC and a ton of people are doing um, some of these other SBCs. I think actually this throwback UCL SBC requires, yes, an 82 rated squads, an 80 rated squad. So it requires a couple higher rated squads. You might need some 82s or 83s for them. Um, but obviously this UCL Premium SBC requires an 81 rated squad. So people are people are doing some of these SBCs and they're getting some of the higher rateds for some of these cards, especially the guy like Bale. I mean, a lot of people have some higher rated cards in their club. So if you look at the uh, cheapest players by rating that we just looked at, a lot of like the 83s and 84s and 85s are up the most because so many people already have high rateds in the club, whether they're um, past special cards or team of the seasons. You can throw one 90 rated player in, throw a couple 85s, and then do like 83s and 84s for the rest of the squad, and it makes it um, a lot cheaper for you if you have that in the squad or in the club. And that's what I think a lot of people are doing because if you look over here on Footbin, cheapest players by rating, 83 rated players are 2.6, 2.7K. Even 82s are selling for like one and a half thousand coins, which is very high compared to normal and 84 rated cards are all five and a half k four two or five two five three 85 rated are like 11 to 12 k and then as you get higher like the 86s aren't inflated that much 87s are a little bit up 88s are eh, 89s are about the same as well maybe up like 2k for all these higher ones but the 84s like this like the hradeki card was literally like he was like 3k or under and now he's almost doubled in price up to 5.2 and some of these 83s as well, they're almost 3,000 coins for some of them. And a lot of them, like Mandanda yesterday, was like 1,000 coins, 1,200 coins. So um, those went up a lot with today's SBCs. And that's why, according, this is really great timing by EA to benefit EA. They're putting out this Team of the Week pack SBC when these 83s, 84s, 85s, and even 82s are very, very high right now. And, and honestly, some of just the regular cards in this game, like an, a 78 rated guy from, or an 80 rated striker from La Liga. Any, I was, I had to buy a Prem striker to finish off the foot swap deals player, a rare Prem striker. We go special, we go striker, we go Premier League, if I can not lag out of the menus. We go gold, we go striker, we go Premier League. It was 1200 coins to get the cheapest striker 
from the Premier League that was a rare gold card on this game right about now. You see one right there. It's kicking me out of Ultimate Team because it thinks I'm a bot. I'm not a bot, I promise. But that's why right now um, this pack just makes a lot of sense because EA can suck a lot of coins off of the market um, using this pack SBC. And this is going to be fun, guys. We watched the animal being flipped here really quick as we continue to talk about this stuff. But, ooh, one second right on the money. What are we saying? Um, but that really does make sense for them to put out this SBC right now when those lower rated cards that are needed for this SBC are up in price. Now that also leads me to think, what's going to be needed for this SBC? For the 81, the minimum rating of 81, I'm guessing they're probably just going to ask for an 83 rated squad or an 82 rated squad. I'm guessing an 83 rated squad with 50 chemistry. It'll be decently easy. You can stack them up. And at worst, you're getting an 81 rated inform or maybe an 82 or an 83. And you're probably paying somewhere around 20 thousand coins for that pack right Twenty thousand coins maybe 30k depending on how they price it i mean i could see them pricing it at like 35 to 40k of that sbc and for the 84 plus making it 50k 50k excuse me voice crack that way they would price the sbc kind of higher so that you lose some money but that's my prediction for the 81 plus i think it's just going to be an 83 rated squad and then for the 84 plus i think it might be an 83 squad plus a team of the week player so Basically, what you can do then is do your 83 rated squad, get that that inform, and then throw them into the 84 plus, and obviously do the same 83 rating um, for that one as well. So that's my kind of fearless forecast on that one, and I think it's going to drop within the next day or so. I really do think that this is going to drop within the next day because usually when they put stuff into um, the, the code like this, it drops pretty quickly. So again. If you've been waiting on inform prices to drop, like let's say to finish an icon, a lot of people want to do these icons, but a lot of them have inform requirements down here. Team of the Week players, minimum two. Like let's say you've been looking at Eusebio, Vieira, Ronaldinho, a lot of these guys have inform requirements on all of these squads, and it's just been outrageous to do them. Now you're going to have a chance to do those for a little bit cheaper because of this SBC. Um, so again, if you have a gold inform in your, your club right now, check your clubs and just literally, if you have any tradable informs, you haven't sold them yet, get them out as fast as you can. Get them out before this SBC drops because they're going to be selling for a lot more than they will after this SBC comes out. Basically, all these 81s and up are probably going to go back down to like 20,000 coins or below, 15K probably. They're going to be cheap uh, because they're going to get packed so often and so many people are going to do these SBCs because people need informs in this game to do SBCs, to complete icon SBCs and other SBCs that they put out on the game. And they also have the opportunity of packing something big. Obviously you have the chance to pack like a 92 rated inform from some of these SBCs. You know, you have a chance to pack um, a sick card, like an informed Conte or an informed Van Dyke or an informed Salah, informed Pogba, Mbappe. So many opportunities of cards to pack from an SBC like this one. So if you have informs, get them out. Now I wanna talk about another thing, what's gonna to happen to the market because of this. I remember in years past, when this type of SBC comes out, this is a market crasher type SBC because people, for whatever reason, love this SBC. Now I don't think that this, this, this SBC isn't going to destroy the market because as long as they don't make it absolute filthy dirt cheap, People are going to do this SBC, but the cards that you're getting as a reward from this SBC, they're not going to be as end game as some of the team this season cards that are out now. That's why an SBC like this would crash the market more during a time of like when it was usually released, uh, which was foot birthday. That's when you would see an SBC like this really crash the market in a lot more because the most expensive gold in form on the game right now, Cristiano Ronaldo's 95 rated card, 1.5 million coins. That is the biggest card that you can pack from this SBC. Yes, you have a chance at some Messi, some Mbappe, some Hazards, a Neymar, Van Dyke, a lot of really good players. But there are so many players out of this SBC that nobody's going to pack these guys up here. They're going to be packing all the lower level guys. And a lot of these in forms are a lot cheaper than they were earlier on in the year because of the fact that 
stuff has changed. We have team of the season cards. Like, look at this Pogba. Where was he at his, at his highest? 800,000 coins in February and March. He dipped down to 500K. Now he's at 348. So if you have an inform in your team, one of these high level informs, there's probably going to be some panic. You might want to get it out as soon as you can just to be safe. If this SBC is very cheap and very doable, a lot of people are going to do it. Um, but for these high rated guides that nobody's going to pack, they're going to get panic sold. And then the SBC is going to come out and they're going to rise back up shortly because they're just not going to get packed that much, to be honest. There's a ton of informs that are going to be packed. Um, but I do see there's probably going to be some panic selling heading into on Wednesday at, at 6 p.m. UK because I do think there's going to be some people that are panic selling because they want to get, um, they're knowing that this SBC is probably going to be coming. And you'll probably see some panic selling in other areas of the market as well. Um, but especially on some of these informs, if you have any of them in your team that you're using, I would maybe try to be careful with that and kind of assess the situation as how you think it's going to go down. Because um, obviously there's a lot of informs on the game and a lot of people like to use informs and a ton of people are going to do uh, that SBC. So I wanted to talk about that SBC with you guys today, talk about some market movements that I do um, possibly see happening because of that um i don't know if these icons will be affected i don't i don't really think a lot of those cards will be affected it's mostly just going to be the informed market and the best part about this is going to be that you're actually going to be able to afford informs to complete icon sbcs and this is honestly going to help the prices of high rated golds um for some of those high rated i mean some of you guys might be holding on to them still in your club, I have still have a lot of cards club stocked, 86 through 89. If they make this SBC pretty cheap um, and they release another high rated SBC, this could really influence people to go out to do that SBC and to, um, of course, finish icons that they have been working on um, because obviously people love their icons. Icons are some of the best players in this game. They're easy to link God squads at this point of the year with all kinds of team of the season cards that are out. Um, but that team of the week SBC is going to be the main, main thing for it. And let me tell you boys, the pack luck from that is probably not going to be very good. We haven't had many packs this year that have had insane OP luck. I don't expect that pack to be super duper ridiculous just because there's so many 81 plus cards and even 84 pluses that it's just going to be a lot of SBC fodder. So keep that in mind when you're looking forward to these packs, don't be a panic seller. Don't be a panic seller because a lot of people aren't going to pack the Neymar informed, the DVD, the Mbappe, the Neymar, the Ronaldo. They're going to pack guys like down here in this team of the week, like an, an 81 rated uh, Brazilian inform or, you know, a lot of players like that. So, but again, one last chance. If you do have informs in your club, I would get them out. Um, and then one last thing I do want to talk about is we should see, we should see another vote for footies. Last Wednesday is when they dropped the first one. On the start of the promo, they dropped one on Wednesday and Thursday. And I guess they're just going to be doing it two of them a week, back to back. So they release on Friday and Saturday. I don't know what EA's plan was with that. I wish they would have spread them out and done them more consistently. But Fred has three days remaining. So tomorrow he'll have two days remaining when the new um, foot swap would be out. I guess they're not worried about overlapping these cards that much unless we're not getting a foot swap or a footies player tomorrow. I really hope that we do get a footies and I think that's our next best shot at getting another footies voting item. We've had Lozano, we've had uh, Fred, but hopefully we get somebody else, maybe a defender. That'd be pretty cool as well. But again, this video was mainly about the, the team of the week pack code that is in the code right now. And I want to get this up for you guys and kind of talked about it. See what we could see. I know it's late night for a lot of you guys when I'm recording this at EU. It's 10, 17 p.m. for me here in the NA. So it's like 3 a.m. or something over there for you. You're going to wake up and see this and see the hype. And I want to get this out as soon as I can to you guys because I know you're going to want to know what's going on um, with this Team of the Week repeatable SBC. So if you enjoyed the video, have any questions, drop them down below. I'll be down there answering questions. But of course, if you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below. I already said that. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.